knife and like slip. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you have to put more pressure, uh, which so increases your chances of cutting yourself. It has teeth on it, little teeth. Mm -hmm. It's, it's teeth. called serrated. Serrated. S e r r a t e d. That's correct. R a d e d. No, no, no. She said it correctly. S e r r a t e d. Oh yeah. Okay. Serrated teeth. Okay. And it keeps it from slipping. Um, it doesn't more. It doesn't more so than keeping it from slipping. Yeah, you'd cuts have to put pressure. It cuts through, it cuts through it, and you do with the least amount of pressure. Because what happens is if you if you don't if it's not serrated and you try to cut into it, you, have, you apply more pressure because it's round. You might yeah, exactly. You know, that, then, it, then that's when it's slipping because okay, it's so yeah. Yeah. But this is all stuff again. You, you find out from doing it. I've cut myself before, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, I really have. I've cut myself yeah. numerous times. I've cut myself deep a couple of times. But, like, you know, um, again, you know, you can take your chances with, like, you know, cutting a couple of fruits and vegetables and make a couple of mistakes. Or in the long run, someone have to cut off your whole arm. So, so you don't use a cutting board? I mean... Ancestrally, and they, they don't? But, yeah. I mean, like, that's for um, certain stones reasons. Stones and stuff do cut stuff. But it's, I think the most... Flat surface. Mm, I mean, like, you can use a cut... I do use a cutting board. It varies, but... You know, I think this is a, in, in, I, um, I think ideally and just like preferably, I think like in terms of the way it looks, like when you're preparing a certain way, I feel like it looks just more, na something more natural about it as opposed to cutting on a cutting board. I think it looks really nice. Well, also inside the um, the food class and also in the rainforest, they do they specifically, there are a lot of things, again, I'm trained as a chef, they do not use a cutting board. All the juice and everything goes right into the bowl. You know, so, and also if you don't have those things um, available to you, again, it actually kind of like switches you like out of this, I need this, I need that, I got to have the latest this and I got to have the latest that. You know, I'm pretty sure most of you can think of grandmothers that just cut the onions and all that stuff in their hand. It is ancestral. And the other thing, I know several times when I was cutting sweet potato greens and I said, okay, let me not be hard headed. Let me do it the way, you know, was recommended. And I was like, why do I get full quicker when I cut it in my hands? The texture um, is uh, smaller. It's easier for to digest. Mm -hmm. So you'll start absorbing the nutrients differently. Mm -hmm. Every time I follow directions, I usually like wind up getting a gift. Because yeah. I'm used to, I was trained with all my fancy knife skills and garnishes. <laughs> I'm a chef. You know, but I was like, okay, let me just follow common sense as was recommended to me. And I noticed several times, I was like, Kevin, the food tastes better. And I digest it better, and it makes you pay attention to the food. You stop rushing, right? It's something, it's actually living. Actually, I started like, wow, you start looking at handling the food. It's, it's, a, it's a living being that you're having an intercourse with. It's giving you some energy, so you start respecting the food when you start handling it. It'll make you slow down. Sometimes you get frustrated, but then it becomes like you start working with yourself and your mind instead of wanting everything easy right then and there. When you have to grow the food, you get a whole nother... Perspective. Yeah, perspective. Yep. So you always the books. Oh, okay. okay. I was asking the books. Are you referring to the course? Yeah, you 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 offer a course? Or um. Well, the class. I don't know. They used to come here to. Um, they used to come here to New York at, to the International African Arts Festival. I don't know if they'll come anymore. We just volunteer there in the summertime. So they put a class on DVD. So they put a class, and I've paid a lot of money for calling. It's like, I think it's like nothing for what they're, they're charging. And then also the visuals of them in the rainforest, you know, with kahoon nuts. And um, there's just stuff that you're not going to see here. And, I, again, I got all the books, the tapes, or whatever. This stuff I've almost, I don't even know if my DVD is working anymore because I've played it so much. Something I do, just one of my little quirks, is I have a portable DVD player in the food prep area, and I keep it on all the time with, like, positive lyrics and vibes. Their music, I cannot get enough of. First time I heard their music, I was like, what the heck is this? They didn't sound all jazzed up, like, on a radio station. But the lyrics caught me. The lyrics caught me. And I was like, whoa. That, between that and consuming the food, it's, a whole, it's, a, it's another channel. So these are available to us? Um, yeah, so we bought that. I don't have a lot of green books. That's all I have left. But I have the food prep class. I have divine consumption, which I want. If anyone is looking at making a change 100%, and I ordered those, um, I ordered a lot of the books because people always stop me and ask me what I'm eating or if I go to a family barbecue or something. I said, okay, let's stop the feel-good talk and you walk away and you do nothing. I don't even make anything off the book. I just sent it back to the community because something was given to me. 
So I just make the book so we can stop. You can actually walk, it aw walk away, take the book to the fruit and vegetable stand and use it. So it has a list of all the foods, what's in there, what each food is doing for your body. I highly recommend it. So that's like $35 the class is, like, is um, $50 divine consumption. I highly recommend it. You want to get your reasoning crystal clear and straight on why you're consuming a certain way, I would definitely recommend divine consumption. And that's why so, I keep them. So next, I'm, I'm adding baby spinach. This is bad baby spinach um, to it. Um, it doesn't need to be washed. It's already been um, washed. And you can add as, as much as you'd like, you know, to whatever, like, your taste buds are like. I um, use, so I use um, three coconuts. Usually that's about the portion size that'll get you a certain amount. Um, for like a, maybe like a couple of people, maybe three people, um, split, split that up. And I use like about three tomatoes. Um, and that will just add to the juice um, and add in flavor to the dish. Do you always wear gloves? Um, no, I'm using it um, for, the, for the demo. I mean, for myself, I, I mean, I just go right all in. So, you know. <laughs> right. What is this dish Watch called? Yeah. yeah. He calls it coconut curry. This is something that um, Kepra made up because he said it, it tastes better than cheesy popcorn. No, I said so, like or it tastes popcorn. like cheesy popcorn. Well, you know, that's one thing you notice is like, you know, with all these different food, these foods that are that, that are being sold, you know, I've tasted fruit, fruits that like, you know, you could, uh, like I tasted this um, apple the other day. It was like a golden delicious apple. I don't know what kind of variety, but it tasted literally like this candy have airhead, the apple flavor. And I was like, literally the same exact thing. So I'm like, you know, these people are really just going and taking the same exact thing and, you know, giving you a less diluted down version. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's really, you know, the fruits of the trees of life. You know, they talk about Adam and Eve. That's not like, you no, know, I mean, not that story, but the garden of, of Eden. That's like, you know, naturally occurring. You know what I'm saying? So What is this spice, um, Kepada? I'm using kind pepper. Um... So, you know, I would use it sparingly. This is, to me, it's not hot. But for purposes, <laughs> I don't know what, how everybody is. Does spicy? Island. No? Do you make your own? Huh? Do you make your own kind? No, we get it from the um, parcel of food co-op, so... Um, but we use that. We've used African bird cayenne pepper from the African yeah, community. We and we been, use scotch bonnet peppers also, the fresh hot peppers. Yeah, yeah. We haven't actually been using the African cayenne pepper. But, like, that's um, recently because, like... You we know, found something in it. Yeah, you, we found a worm in like A nice that, bright <laughs> red parrot, like, some kind of worm or something in it. Oh, you know, that, it's beautiful. Huh? It's beautiful, but I'm like, if that, then, yeah, if yeah, it can survive in the cayenne, what's that's it going to do in my system? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I let it go. So, I mean, that was like, you know, because sometimes, you know, wet life, when you, you're buying these, purchasing this, these foods, it's like, you know, because it's not people, a lot of people who are like, you know, like have a vegan rest, um, um, fruit stand where all they sell is fruits and vegetables. And because they live that lifestyle, they have a care for the fruits and vegetables. So they're, they are selling quality because that's how they live. You know what I'm saying? Which is something, one of my goals to be like have a vegan farm and whatnot. Where I only, you know, I specialize in these fruits and vegetables and I give the qu best quality because I, I taste all these different nuances in it. And I'm like a connoisseur, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, <laughs> You're kind of so. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, this is just a, like I've experienced. Like I take show people the coconuts and show people the mold, and be like, oh, that's fine, because you can't taste certain things. You you won't. A lot of times, you won't taste that the food is bad when they're cooking it. You know, my mom's told me in the restaurant they look like if certain things fall on the floor, they put them right mm -hmm. back in the pan. Like they they not trying to waste no um, mm -hmm. no money. So, Capital. What do you mean by vegan farm? I mean, when I say vegan, because fruits know, and vegetables thing, are one of the things mm -hmm. that um the happy said was like you know veganic farming. So when I just say vegan, I mean you know um I'm not I'm not, I'm not interested in carrying any animals, you know, or milking cows. I'm not I'm not interested in taking no no which is no um another animal's breast milk. You know what I'm saying? Or eating another animal. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like uh, for, uh having a farm that just grows fruits and vegetables. That's it. Fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, herbs, and spice. There's curry in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, yes, that and is And there are different types of curries or different types of cayenne um, peppers? This was like, I think this brand is called Chief Curry. You know, but you can also make your own from turmeric, which is also really, really good for um, inflammation. Yeah, actually, what's good is if you buy the curry, look at the ingredients, because most of those ingredients you can buy. You know, just make the, the blend depending on which one you like. You know, I think some of them have cumin, mm -hmm. a certain herbs and spices. You and the turmeric is what makes it yellow. Yeah. 
So mm-hmm. um, the word curry is just the blending. Sound it's the like blend of it. Mm-hmm. Of the yeah. I did not know that, but thank yeah. you for <laughs> letting me know. Um, this is pink Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, um, delicious. Yeah, it and does. it's actually kind of a sweeter salt. So salt. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's funny because you and usually it's see it. In, you usually too. see it in health and body products or, mm-hmm. or stores. Yeah. Because it's used in bath salts and stuff like that. Yeah. I know, I didn't so know something to be well, conscious of. It's now, it's still salt, salt, so we're going to be careful not to overdo the salt because well, extracted salt. salt? You no, know, you got to use a salt. pinch. I, mean, I think this. Well, I'm, just I'm be gonna, real um, easy. I'm going to pour it in, in here first, just so because I don't. You know, always you can't take it back, but you can always add a little bit at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not in um, one area. I mean, sprinkle it around. So like for if it was just me, I would be tasting it as I go, just to make sure I didn't put too much salt. Um, which is something you could do on your own. That's good. Come on. Look. That's enough. Salt. No more salt. I put like three coconuts. So like I mean I don't want it to not taste bland, but so it has that so so um sulfur smell. No, no that's, like, that's that black that's, salt. Yeah, that was you. That I, Ooh. Yeah, black salt. <laughs> that's black salt. This doesn't have a scent.